Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the modulus of elasticity of a concrete beam. The reason I decided to share this problem with you guys is because I got the same exact question on my FE exam. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. So we're giving a reinforced concrete beam of a normal weight concrete and it has a compressive strength of 4 ksi. The beam spans 14 feet and we need to find the modulus of elasticity in kips per inch squared. So keep in mind that these units are actually the same thing, kips per inch squared and ksi are equal. Um, before we start solving, I would just like to say that this problem is very easy and straightforward if you find uh, where the equation is and also be careful with the units. Make sure you use the right units in the equation. I will explain more that when we when we solve the problem. So if you look at the FE handbook, the concrete section starts, it's usually under the civil engineering and it starts at page 159. So here we have the definitions and if you come down here, you see EC, which is the modulus of elasticity and they give you the equation. So the equation is not giving under the section where they usually give equations, it's actually under definitions and that's why a lot of people have a hard time finding it. So make sure you remember where it is so that you can be able to solve it if you get it during the test. So let's write the equation first. So we have EC is equal to 33, the weight of the concrete to the power of 1.5 times the square root of F prime C and as you guys can see here, at the end, they wrote down PSI. And that just means that once you plug in all the numbers here, you should get a unit of PSI. So, but the question asks for KSI. So you already know that we need to do a little bit of a conversion, unit conversion, so that we can get uh, KSI. Okay, so the weight of the concrete here, this one is something, it's not on the handbook. It's just something that you have to remember. So we were giving reinforced concrete. So the weight of a reinforced concrete, I'm going to call it R, is usually equals to 150 pounds cubic feet. If you were given N reinforced concrete, then the weight is going to be 145 pounds per cubic feet. So make sure you remember this for your test because you it's it's not given on the FE handbook. So if we plug in all the numbers, so I have 33, then uh, because we have reinforced concrete, so I'm going to use the 150. So I have 150 pounds per cubic feet to the power of 1.5. And then I'm going to multiply it by square root of F prime C. And this is where it's a little bit tricky. So F prime C, has to always be in the unit of pounds per cubic feet, or uh, sorry, pounds per inch squared. So you cannot use KSI, or else you would get the wrong answer. Because think about it, the square root of four does not equal to the square root of 4,000. So for you to get the right answer, this under the square root, it has to be in pounds per inch squared. So what you do is, so we have 4, 4 KSI, right? So if we convert 4 KSI to get pounds per inch squared, you usually just multiply it by 1,000, and that gives you 4,000 pounds force per inch squared. It's really simple, easy conversion. So that's what you get. So if you plug in this into your calculator, you get an answer of 3 Point eighty three times 10 to the power of 6 in PSI, right? Because that's, if you plug in all these units, um, if you plug in these values using the right units, it should give you PSI. Okay, so once you do that, now we were asked to, to give an answer in kips per inch squared. So all we need to do is pretty much just divide this by a thousand. And so this gives you an answer of 3,834 kips per inch squared or KSI. 
they're, they're the same thing. So that, that is your answer. Okay, guys, so don't forget to do the problems with me as you go. The best way to learn something is by doing it. And remember, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any problem or a question that you'd like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine!